Attention! <laughs> this doesn't work. Attention! Um, we're going to tell you a Bible story. Say yay! Yay! So, this is one of my favorites. You want to know why? And there's fire and brimstone and destruction. So, let me tell you a story, Sparky. Okay? There's these two cities. Oh, cities. We got things for that. Yeah. City number one. Ah. Its its name was Sodom. Soda pop. No. Sodom. 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 Sodom pop. Sodom. No, just Sodom. 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 And then the other city's name was. It's it's that girl off of the Avengers. Gaga? Gamora. The green girl. Gamora. Sodom and Gamora. And I don't remember what went wrong, but God destroyed him with fire and brimstone. Yes! So, it must, it must have been a good idea. So, oh, and, and, the, and the one guy's wife turned into a statue. There was a girl that turned into a statue. So, so we got fire. Uh huh. We got an explosion. Yeah. We got a town. We got another town. Let's see it. You do the work. Okay. Come on. So, what does it look like when you destroy a town with fire? Uh, fire. There's no hole in the ozone. There but you can't. No. You know, what are you talking about here? Sodom, Gamora. What about it? I gotta blow Gamora. Oh, I never. <laughs> it got me in the elbow. <laughs> you know, do you guys know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? No! I do. Alright, what do you know? Fire and brimstone. Yeah, well, that was the end of the story, but that wasn't the beginning. Oh, and and a lady turned into a statue. Uh, well, you know that that's the end of the story, but that isn't the beginning of it. You see, there were some people. Uh -huh. Now pay attention. Okay, you can tell us the story. There was people in this valley. And Abraham's nephew. In this valley? Abraham well, Lincoln? no, in the valley of Sodom and Gomorrah. Ah. Was, it, was it Abraham Lincoln? No, it wasn't Abraham Lincoln. It was Abraham, the, the friend of God. Ah, and oh, okay. See, Abraham and his nephew grew, got all these goats and sheep and camels and donkeys all together, and they were always fighting over grass. Uh-huh. So, Abraham said to his cousin or his nephew Lot, he says, You look around and you pick where you want to live, and I'm going to pick where, wherever you don't take. Mm. So, Abraham, Lot took Sodom, Lot? which was not a very good idea. Lot went to live in Sodom? Yeah, he did. And he was living there, you see, and all of a sudden... They were a bunch of mean characters. They were, if you went into their town, they thought that they should be able to take you out and play and beat with, beat you up. Play with you until you were ready to be beaten up. And God didn't like that at all. That doesn't sound very nice. No, it wasn't nice at all. 
and Lot was living there, and Abraham was living not too far away, but far enough, and all of a sudden one day three guys come walking up to Abraham, and Abraham hit the deck because he recognized one was God Almighty himself, and the other two were just a couple of big old angels. You mean God and angels came to Abraham? Yeah, that's right. In real life? In real life, yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep, yeah, because you see, God said that he was going to go to Sodom and he was going to destroy it with fire. Fire. And brimstone. And brimstone, yeah. Ah, we were and, right. And Abraham, having compassion and knowing that his nephew was living over there, he says, Would you kill all them people? If there was a bunch of righteous people there? And God says, no, I wouldn't, Abraham. He says, well, what if there was just, say there was just five righteous people, would you destroy it? He said, no, I wouldn't, Abraham. So God left and went that way, and the two angels went that way down to Sodom. And they could only find one righteous dude down there, and that was Lot. You mean there was only one Righteous guy in the whole yeah, town. That's right. And it, so, you know, they're going, well, do we, what do we do? Well, there's just one. We said five. So he said, so the angel said to Lot, he says, you get your family and you get them out of town. Uh -huh. And they go, oh, well, no, it isn't that bad to live here. It just really isn't that bad. And the angel says, no, I'll tell you what, you get your family and you get yourself out of town. You get up into the mountains. You get them going. And uh, they said, well, you know, it ain't, it ain't really that bad around here. I know there's some things that are kind of bad, but it isn't really. The angel says, hey, hey, give me your hand. He grabbed his hand. He jerked him out of town. He says, now. Now, now you're out of town, see? And you just get, you just keep going that way. You see? Oh, they got all this, and he's going to burn it with fire. Well, and brimstone! Yeah, they knew it, too. And then, all of a sudden, you'd think somebody would show up, but they maybe they didn't even get the, you know, maybe they ran past this whole park. Maybe. Because you would think, at this point, his family be marching out of town pretty fast. Yeah, I would but, be. Well, I, I mean, a lot. And because, but the problem is, see, sometimes we don't want to leave what's comfortable for us. Right. To do God's will. Neither do they. Well, apparently not. They don't, they, they're absolutely refusing to even show up. I know. And, you know, and we prepared the whole thing for crying out. I know. So you would think, by this point, even if they were just watching the TV, they'd come out. But no, they don't know anything about it, apparently. And they can't hear it to you. I, so, I well, guess not. But maybe, maybe they turned into a pillar of salt. <laughs> just oh, keep it. Guy. That. See, that was locked there. I don't... Locked an old man? Yeah, I'm well, going. you know. And, the, and oh, then, no. the, then the fire and the brimstone was coming down on Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, unfortunately, the little gal, she turned back. Assault, and apparently her head keeps getting detached. You what know, are you doing to these that, I gotta admit, I, I, here, just, just go, just, just go. I, I got your mom's head. Mm. It's, it's really salty. Yeah. What did you just? You do? know, I've heard they had trouble keeping their heads on over there in the Middle East quite a bit. But um, there's a little kid carrying his mom. That's his. That's Lot's daughter there. The and see a beauty. <laughs> She's Brenda. So there, go take your mom off stage over here, buddy. What just happened? Or sister? Well, or, as you whatever. saw, 
Locke, Locke took off like he would seen, you know, a ghost. Uh -huh. and, but he hadn't. He'd just seen two big old angels. Uh -huh. And the wife took off like she wanted to follow Locke because he was feeding her plenty. And, but she had some baby pictures back in her cupboard back at home. And she didn't want them baby pictures to get all burnt up with fire and brimstone. brimstone yeah. So she turned around to go back. And I think today's lesson is about, you know, you can't have two, you can't serve two masters. Uh -huh. You know, you're either going to go with what God said and what the angel said, or you're going to go back and serve in Sodom and Gomorrah, all them guys that were just mean and ornery and and doing just hating God the whole time and so I'm not going to be mean ever again well that isn't the point the point is you, if God talks to you you got to keep going forward with him no one can serve two masters for he'll either hate one and love the other or love one and hate the other just depending on which direction you're looking at it I guess you would so say you're saying if I get saved and Jesus is in my heart I should keep following him and not turn away. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Yeah, you got it. I think. Got it. And that is the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. And that is the story of today's lesson about keep going forward instead of going backwards. All right. So. <laughs> well. So, because you could end up in a pillar of salt and the cows and the sheep would love you. Because uh -huh. they. Because they're, yes. they're lacking salt. See, that's what I'm I saying. Need help putting the table back. Uh, salt people. <laughs> uh, wait for me.